In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Steam error code E84. So there's actually a couple of different ways to fix this. The first method is to head over to your desktop and we need to locate the Steam shortcut. Once you've found Steam on your desktop, right click on it, click on properties, click on the shortcut tab, and you'll see the section here called target. Now what you need to do is just place your mouse cursor at the end of this text, and then we're going to hit the space bar on your keyboard, type in the minus sign, followed by the word login, and then hit the space spacebar again, followed by the minus symbol and type in no react login. So it should look exactly like I have it here on the screen. So it should be space dash login space dash no react login. Once you've done that, you can press apply and OK. And then you're going to right click on Steam and select run as administrator. You can now check to see if this has fixed the issue. If it's still not working, what we're going to do is close out of the Steam application. You then need to head over to the Wi-Fi symbol on your computer and actually turn off your Wi-Fi. Once your Wi-Fi is turned off and disabled, you're going to open up the Steam application. Try logging in with your account and then selecting enter offline mode. Once you've opened up the Steam application in offline mode, you can then head back over to the Wi-Fi connection and turn back on your Wi-Fi. Make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi and then that should have fixed any issues you were having. If it's still not working, the last solution is to head over to your start menu, search for settings and click on the settings window. From the left hand side, select apps click on installed apps and using the search box type in steam click on these three horizontal dots and press uninstall and then confirm by hitting uninstall once you've uninstalled the steam application you'll simply need to re-download it and reinstall it to your device and that should have then fixed the e84 error message if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one